Everybody, welcome to Crew. We're in that. We're about to go to Central Crew, and these officers are going to tell you why there's so many football fans. Who's playing? Crew Alexandra versus Burton Albion in the uh, Football League. Football and it, League one. It's going to be a violent city centre tonight, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. <laughs> definitely not. No, no, no. Thanks, guys. All the best. We are now approaching Piccadilly Gardens, where you can change the services to Alton we got to come up with a new name for the crackheads. It's maybe a bit discriminatory. How about Crafty Beggar? Okay, first thing to note in Crewe, traffic's bad, but it is a Saturday afternoon. Second thing to note in Crewe is that it's very hot and sweaty. It's September the 18th and it's 21 degrees and very humid, even worse than Manchester. This is what they call the Indian summer when the summer stretches out into late September. Why am I doing an Indian accent? I just saw an Indian restaurant called Passage to India. And in A-level English, I was first forced to study A Passage to India by E.M. Forster. And if you've read that book, you know that something very bad happened in the dark cave. There'll be there's somebody got a big grabby grabby with the English lady. I was walking past this, this normal residential street and I started coveting this uh, tomato plant in the window. Okay, just on the road into Crew Central, I saw a nice little quaint English scene. Let's zoom in. Look at that, this scene is so English, it shit the Queen. I'm trying to get you guys something unique to Crew. So far, I've not been lucky. I'll do a little pan around so you can see what I mean. It's uh, very standard here for England, but uh, we've, we've only just started. I didn't know if I'd accrued enough credits to bring the crew to crew, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Instead of a crew, I'll bring my soul self to crew. This must be some sort of market, and I believe next to it you've got the town hall. Yes, Cheshire East Council. I didn't even know I was still in Cheshire. This morning I was like, right. I've done Saturdays in Manchester to death. Where can I go that's an hour away that I can afford that might have something different? Okay, we've got something different here. We've got 1920s ladies, you know, the, um, <laughs> the roaring 20s, and here's the ladies. And if I was to take a guess, I'd say this building was built late 20s, early 30s. It says municipal buildings. So we'll go and have a quick look. A very quick look, because uh, they get upset. Very nice. Yeah, I'll do this and then you can pause it if you want to read it, guys. Okay, pause it now if you want to read it. Hi there. Just touristing, don't mind me. When was this building built, do you know? I guess it's more like 1904 or something like that. 1904, I guess 20s or 30s. Oh, does it? Yeah. I'll check them out. I'll probably roll a lot of Thank you. And crew, many of you are saying, yeah, crew's like the home of rail. Did they invent the train and crew or something? Is that what the big deal is? No, it's just it's a railway works. Railway works. So they, build, they build all the monkeys in crew. Thank you very much. Take care, mate. Thank you. 
Yeah, we both got it wrong. I said 20s, 30s, he said 1904, it's actually 1905. Okay, well I, st I still think I have the lighting, I don't, it's silhouetting to hell. But if we zoom in, yeah. Yeah, well, my eyeballs are doing a better job at correcting the exposure. And like many war memorials, I always come around and look for a Veach. It's always interesting to see if anyone with the same surname as you. Vaughn, Vaughn Venables Vickerman Vickers Villiers Novich. Law Courts. About as inspiring as a overcast day in a grey country wearing a grey suit, reading grey words. Car struggling here. Okay, behind me you've got, uh, was it Crew Market? I was in Berry Market this morning, slightly different energy. Here it's all like small pop-up craft beers, pizzas, gin, burgers, coffee. Whereas in Berry it was all like black pudding and giant novelty lighters. Thank you. It's for my YouTube, my audience, uh, they're a mixed bag uh, and they sometimes do appreciate the highbrow, so I, I have to deliver. Okay. Oh, the main thought in my mind is I should have worn shorts today. I've got the jeans on. I've got a lovely pair of shorts. Half an hour walk that way, so I'm going to sweat and deal with it. We're arriving at the Market Shopping Centre and I cannot help thinking that I've been to Crew before. I really do think I've... um. I think I worked here for the guide dogs as a charity street mugger, I think. But that was a decade ago. And they all look the same now, a lot of these towns, don't they? This guy's got an armored, very patriotic mobility scooter. Gotta love it. So you might be wondering, why, why is Crew? I mean, we're about halfway through our walk around, but why is Crew mostly modern, sorry, modernist, post-World War II, utterly disgusting concrete monstrosities? It's because the Nazis, the Germans, in December 1940, they bombed the absolute shit out of this city, flattened it because there was a big Rolls-Royce factory. And Rolls-Royce didn't just make expensive cars, they're also one of the biggest air airplane engine manufacturer. And uh, my viewers can correct me, did uh, Rolls-Royce build the Merlin engine that powered the Spitfire fighter plane? Anyway, that's why Crew's flat, that's why Crew's modern, that's why Crew's got very, you know, very poor vibe so far. You can be in the video if you want. Come on, I'll get you to say something. I've got a, a pretty big channel over in Manchester, but if you could say, hi, my name's whatever your name is, and you're watching the Charlie Veach channel. Hi, my name is Marella, and you're watching the Charlie Veach channel. Thank you very much, Marella. Have All the best. Time. See ya. People are friendly, at least. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes modernism, it's uh, okay. They've got some sort of weird large stone pebble dash mixed with a kind of uniform four post yeah this is the boots here in central crew there's the town hall there's the shopping mall we're gonna go check out christ tower church but again not all modernism is bad i like the barbican i like the swinton town hall and i like the fbi headquarters in washington dc all done in the modernist stuff okay curiosity has killed the charlie we're gonna try and decipher this live um, help me out here viewers is something scum that's definitely scum isn't it scum oh, they put more effort in blocking out the long word long word is effing scum in crew okay viewers welcome to crew street uh, we're opposite the Salvation Army Worship Center and uh, I thought I was going to pop in here for a little worship myself. Only kidding. I'm not at that stage yet, guys. Don't worry. Um, and uh, guess what? It's a bombed out, bombed out old church. That's no longer a church. Bombed out or burnt out. The roof is certainly gone. And we'll go. We'll carry on in widescreen. We'll give you the kind of panoramic side shot. Give you as much 3D as possible as it interacts with the sun coming through the clouds, coming through the windows. Oh, did you see that? Oh, baby. You know what? Better than stained glass. Direct photons from Helios! There's a great scene in the film 300 where King Leonidas, played by Gerard Butler, a Scotsman, shouts for Michael Fassbender to pass him the sword so that he can throw the spear at uh, Xerxes. And he just goes, 
Stelios, ya bastard. Anyway, we'll come around here. Again, we'll look for the beach. There's never a beach. And uh, there's not even a V here, not even a V. This is Rolls Royce factory, central crew being bombed. People who gave their lives. We have no idea, guys, how easy we have it compared to our granddads and great granddads. We really don't. Everybody, this is CV. We are uh, here in uh, Crew. It's a nice part of the world. I've got some business to attend to in the town center. As you can see, it's the police station. Station. Cut. There's Crew Police Station. I'm still in two minds. Am I going to do something here? Am I going to try and ape? The master, the genius himself, A.B., who I must uh, admit, the last two or three videos have been sublime, elevating. Anyway, the reason we're here in Edinburgh, we had for the glory of God, well, this stone was laid by Earl. Nice guy, Earl. In the faith of Jesus Christ. That's why they, they laid this stone in Easter, 1898. We're here at the entry gates for crew constabulary. Constable. The words co constabulary or constable. Constable. Cunliffe. Scunthorpe. Here's the entry gates. Little camera. Woo! Do, 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 do. The excitement's getting to me, guys. I'm filming through the gate into the car park. Classic yo. This is AB move. And uh, I just can't do it. I just can't do it as well as he can. So this is... Um, this is not the greatest audit in the world, no. This is just a tribute. Here in the UK, we're such an advanced economy that even our rubbish is specializing now. Look, there's no, 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 no NPC waste, specialist waste the community library opposite the police station and I just want to um, discuss me very quickly I get accused of being childish childish in my videos on my YouTube and people are like shaming me for my age but uh, just look at these uh, drawings colorings images from children and I just want to remind everyone especially those who have maybe lost that innocent and naive spark inside of them, which I am fighting to the death to never lose, guys. But there's a giant difference between childish and childlike. I'd make this the thumbnail for the video, but you guys wouldn't click, but I just like this. Okay, this one is for Daniel Bostock, who mentioned that my whispering of the art masters was ASMR. I'm gonna try and get you something very rare, Daniel, is the sound of breaking cobwebs. See if you can enjoy this. See, it gives you the tingles. We'll try, guys. We'll try. I don't know if I've been to Crew before. I don't know if I've been here as a little kid with my auntie, who um, she has a son in Stoke, Stoke-on-Trent, my cousin. I don't know, and I don't know if I've been to the Crew Heritage Center. I think it used to be called the Railway Museum. But look at this old bad boy. Let's uh, get off me. Train spotters right now masturbating furiously. Let's go widescreen. There you go. I just re reviewed that last shot and it failed to go widescreen. I was on that. And that is widescreen. Train spotter's still wanking. And the poor old guy's finally run out of steam. <laughs> this is amazing. You surprised me. I didn't even know you were there. Brilliant. Oh, my kids would love this. That's it, guys. Here we go. It's like London's King's, London King's Cross. Let's get that train up to Edinburgh. 
Sure, I rode on that in the late 80s, early 90s. Dentist in the high vis just brought the train driver a cup of tea and he's uh, doing a bit of comedy with some of the other people. So I've been, been in crew for a few hours now and uh, I get a very good vibe here. It's a very nice, nice vibe in the town centre. There was one incident where there was a dad doing a bit of corporal punishment on his son and I just stared because his other son was like, Dad, please let go. But as you can see behind me, there's a lot of grown-ups who haven't lost that childlike enjoyment. Enjoyment of, uh, of having fun. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, all you rail enthusiasts, this was the tilting train, the advanced passenger train experiment. Still remains the most powerful passenger train to have operated in Britain. There it is tilting. Yada yada. For some reason, it was uh, continued for testing until 1986 when it was withdrawn from service. Although deemed by many to be a failure, the cutting edge technology is now commonplace on trains around the world. Now, this APT here was donated by uh, the, the, the railways. And here in 2002, Virgin launching their Pendolino train, which also tilts. So it was apt that it, um, it was launched here. And did you know? That in 19... Uh, this is when I was conceived, guys. I was born August 1980. So as my parents were getting jiggy with it, this train was going damn fast. Just for shits and giggles. Let's go on. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll, I'll reverse. You can come through. Actually, no, we'll go this way. Look at this. Wow. I was chasing a couple of crackheads and I banged my head and I've woken up in 1978. Wait a minute, they're not dressed for 1978. <laughs> Brilliant. That's how it used to be, guys. So civilized. So cool. What's oh, that woodpecker? Is that beer? I'm not old enough for that one. Ooh, 1984. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is turning me into a a train masturbator. What's this? What's that? He's just had the good shit. Oh wow, here's a dream come true. I'm gonna definitely bring my kids here. Fucking excellent. All right, Scotty, now well, they've, they've um, tied everything down. You can't, you can't do too much. Oh no, here we go, all right. That's it, so we're, we're at run, running, it's running, initial. And you go, all right, Scotty, full warp speed. Aye, right, Captain. There you go. Sir, are you absolutely sure? There are currently 17.3 million uh, civilians residing in Beijing. They've not had time to uh, evacuate the city yet, sir. Are you sure, sir? Are we going to proceed with the launch? Stand aside, youngling. I'll do it myself. Turn the key. There you go. That's what you get for COVID. I've had enough, guys. I'm just going to wait here until it, until it comes. Oh, we say goodbye to the APT and we say hello to the old Manchester trams when I first visited Manchester in 2002. This was the tram action that they had. This exact same colour. In fact, this will be one. Yeah, Metrolink. There you go. Manchester Metrolink. I never got to ride on this amazing technology, but having spoken to a few tram drivers about it, they hated it. They absolutely hated it. Wow. Real Manchester vibes. And I rode the tram from Berry through to Eccles yesterday. And uh, we'll, be the, we'll be the tram driver. Why not? Why not? I don't think... Will I get in? Yeah, I'll get in. Hey there, David. Get those fucking crackheads off the line over there. Yeah, fucking move them.
No, I'll just fuck. I'll just run them over. Fuck it. What do you mean I'm fired? Well, fuck you. I'm just going to run everyone over at Market Street Station. Fuck you. Okay, so I'm converted. I'm now a railway enthusiast. I mean, come on now. Look at these things. Look at the size of these wheels. That is, uh, yeah. I'm 6'5 and I'm about here. My goodness. I'll try and get you some scale, guys. You need scale. Tornado. Okay. But this is, this is about 100 years old. This one, maybe more. 1800s? Ridiculous. I'll give you some context. Technology from a time where men were men, women were women, and they still believed in the future. The optimism of the Victorian era compared to the self-flagellating, nihilistic, self-hating, pessimistic... What are we in now? Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles era. It is an interesting story because... Thank you, sir. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being converted into a railway enthusiast, so your, your contribution well, will be very welcome. If you see this tornado... Yeah? It's an A1. But it was built in 2008. No way. I would think yeah. it was built in 1888. No, no. 2008. No way. Which is quite a while after the last A1 yeah. was built. When was the last A1 built? Like 1920? No, no, no. 1950 probably. So 70 but, or 60 years yeah, later. Yeah. But Why did they build a new one? Because <laughs> they just wanted to. And because they, had, they could. They could, and they had several million pounds. That's amazing. It's cost a fortune. Thank you, sir. I appreciate Brand that. You. Thank you. That's great. So. See that, ladies and gentlemen? I was wondering why there was a, a Prince of Wales, Duchess of Cornwall 2009 plaque. Because it's a new train. Yeah, it's a new train. It's, it's the tw 11, 12 years old. And if you look at this head, it's actually done the baker's... Go on. Where it was made. Oh, there you go, Darlington 2008. Yeah, that's correct. Wow. So in a way, this is an imposter. This is, I want to embrace tradition and reject modernity. Oh no, this is not an imposter. <laughs> is it exactly the same as the yeah, old ones? Oh yeah, just the same. Wow. And the number is the next one in the sequence. Oh, so the last one was 60162. Six, six, so they filled another one. Brilliant. That's that's brilliant. Oh, can we get up there? Oh, brilliant. Thank you. So the train arrived yesterday. The gentleman here, uh, Mr. Jones, says that you checked the Facebook group and you came to this heritage centre specifically for the tornado. Oh, I certainly did. I was thinking of coming over today. Well, it corroborates. I thought it was here. That settles it. Yeah. No brainer. <laughs> and that corroborates the story. If it's still hot, it's just arrived. Yes. Right. Right, we'll go widescreen. Oh, it is very hot. It's going to be here tomorrow, apparently. Look at that, real Rayo enthusiasts. Such nice guys having a chat. Whoa, the furnace. Oh, no, 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 that's, um, no. Ah, damn it. Wow, my fingers are burning. I burnt my fingers to show you that. <laughs> yeah, the furnace is still very hot, oh, yeah. as you can imagine. I burnt my fingers for my viewers to give them a shot, you know. The, the sacrifices I make. This is proper steampunk. Sorry? Yeah, I live in Manchester. I'm half Scottish, half Brazilian, so I thought I'd come the 58 minutes on the train line to check out crew. There's that crew town have just scored. Oh, they just scored the football like grounds. Ah, very good. Yeah, because this told you this was the first new building engine since the steam era. Was yeah, he said 2008. Yeah. It's yeah. a reconstruction, a faithful reconstruction. It's a long, long, long time to do, but that is amazing, yeah, about though. Three million pounds. It's astounding. I could I could film in here all day. I should switch to 4K just to capture more data. I'm on 1080, but amazing. I love it. And as you say, I'm amazed they just let crazy people like me come over here and play with the furnace. 
What have you got, sir? There. Oh. Just on this side. Let me get a little zoom in on this bad boy. There we go. This locomotive was built and paid for by people who shared a vision and were determined to turn it into... Re now, that's actually quite a philosophical and nice message, mm. that. See that, viewers? Listen to that. You got a vision? Turn it into reality. So I'm um, here next to the Tornado faithful reproduction of the steam steam engine and I've been waiting for this Autobot to transform and I've been here 10 minutes waiting and I think he's dead I don't think he's gonna go fight Megatron not today okay we're inside the Heritage Center and uh, it's lovely you should see my smile I'm grinning ear, ear to ear like a Cheshire cat this is brilliant let's uh, let's wait for it to come around We'll get a nice uh, shot above the train. And we'll wait for the, the other one to come through. And away he goes. It's wonderful, there really is. I think it's great. We have a gentleman uh, fixing. Oh. oh, hi. How are you? How are you? Okay, I'm, I'm just filming some of this other stuff. I see. But I'll film myself. Am I right in thinking it's not so much people call it toys, it's the fascination of the miniaturization of railway? Or what's, yeah. what's the appeal, would you say, the main appeal? Um, well, my own appeal is, uh, of it is the actual. Um, engineering and um, producing the thing that works at all. Like the way you've got in your hand, you're fixing some electronic. That, that's right, yes. Yeah, yeah, something's not working, but it's, uh, it can be made to work, and the satisfaction gained in making it work is. Tinker, tailor, soldier, spy. Yeah. You're like tinkering with things yeah, that don't right, work. Yeah. And, and if I may be so bold, you actually look like a classical clockmaker. Yeah, you don't make clocks, do you? <laughs> well, I repair them, yes. Do you repair clocks? Yeah. See? And particularly those um, with the rotating weights at the bottom, uh, like, uh, forget what they're called now. Pendulum clocks? No, 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 no. no. They have a, a wire suspending uh, oh. four or five weights that rotate, and uh, they rotate backwards and forwards and operate. Oh, like, my granny had one of those. Yeah. Anyway, I'm very proud of my guest. See that? He does repair clocks. Thank you, sir. Look at this. Watching over the, the railways, you have art. My favorite ones are these three here. That one's nice, but you see the colors there on this one. And there you go. Train art. These guys have remained neutral, especially when the, these guys are in town. Okay, on this channel, we're a big believer in doing it live. All right, we're going to do it, guys. My guess, where are we? What's that stone? Now, that red's kilos. My guess, guys, I'm going to guess 94 kilos. Oh, shit, I'm a fat bastard. 99 kilos. I'm a 220-pound male. Jeez. We're not ending on art. We're ending it on uh, the ice cream, ice cream trucks from the past. That one's excellent. That one is excellent. In fact, they're all excellent. But look at this one, the Batman special. It's still the way in the UK. They don't care about copyright or trademark or all that infringement. They just sell ice cream. And usually the big corporations don't mind. So there you go, guys. There's Crew Heritage Center. Real London bus, this is a number 19 from Battersea Bridge through to Finsbury Park. And I'll try not to get run over too quickly. But we'll uh, we'll try and we'll try and pop on if I can. Is it okay to hop aboard? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Good man. Wow. Well there's your heritage center guys, like a place where all the staff genuinely are excited about showing new people their machines and buses and trains and trams and you just saw there jumping on the back of that old route master London bus um, again there I was with one hand free one hand filming buses moving away I asked can I jump aboard He's like yeah of course 
how much of a respite away from health and safety that you can still do fun stuff and they're trying to encourage it. So I'm gonna try and end it on a golden eagle. <laughs> is like uh pimp my ride is like yo we heard you like trains so we put a train inside your train and if we come down here there's actually a train in there with a train in no, I'm only joking that would have been far too meta but the joke still stands <laughs> train in a train there's actually a football match happening at the crew alexandra football club so let's not go and score an own goal as the great joke tells us Try and keep this steady for you guys. I thought I could hear football fans in the distance. Let's get closer. No symptoms. Free rapid test. Can you hear them? Need help. I'm yeah, just having. I'm just touristing. Oh right. Just touristing. Just to let you, know, you are on private property, so. Does that stop me being able to film? Well, yeah. You're not supposed to. Really. Ah, but I'm a bad boy. You can tell I'm a nice guy. Just keep an eye on it that way. What do you mean, keep an eye on it? I don't know what you mean. No, there's a policewoman there. Like she's she's cool. She I asked her if I could. She goes fine. The policewoman goes. So, wh what are you gonna do? Kick me out? You're gonna kick me out? I'm just asking you not to keep up and down here, mate. Well, I'm gonna do it just to spite you. I was quite prepared to let you do it, but you wouldn't be in a, a watch about it. Leave now, please. No thanks. Leave the property now, please. No thanks. Now remember four to control. Send some support down, please, to the back of the uh, away stand. For me, mate. Take your camera off me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get off the private don't, property. Don't touch me. Don't video. Don't touch Get me. off the property now. Yeah, there's a bloke videoing me. I've asked him to leave. He's been abusive and I'm really moved now, over. Leave Smi the ground, mate. I'm smiling and leaving. Leave the ground. No. Leave the ground, mate. No. Leave the ground, no, please. No, don't, don't touch move. me. Move. Don't touch me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leave the whoa. ground, please. Whoa, your hands leave on me. Leave the ground. Your yeah, hands on leave me. Leave the ground, please. I've asked you now numerous Leave. Hey, leave viewers. Ground, please, mate. Yo. There's leave Charlie. The ground, <laughs> Don't wave on the ground. Private property. Can you have him remove him, please? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm a friendly guy. It's for YouTube. It's sir. It's all. It's all for a good cause. It's all. No, but it's no, but we both know that if it's not gated, if it's publicly accessible, I can. No, God, no. My name's Charlie Veach. I'm the original inventor. So you are auditing? No, God, no, no. Uh, okay. God, no. There's only one auditor I like, and that's Auditing Britain. And Marty Blackburn is quite nice as well. But no, I'm not auditing. But, um... I'm very photogenic. Thank you. Um, I know the law. You can go up. If there's no gate, you can have a look. So don't mind me. I'm going to go and troll the, the authority guy again. Okay. And anyway, the name is Charlie Veach. And, uh... Nice day for it. Take care. Okay. See ya. Let's go and have a look. We've got the blessing from the uh, woman PC, the woman police constable. Hey everyone! If you think that I should be kicked out, say yeah! Yeah, yeah fuck you all! I'm joking, I'm joking. Anyway. Take care guys, see you later.
Anyway, supervisor man. Supervisor man, the policewoman gave me her blessing. What are you going to do now? Oh. Oh, so you put your hands on me for no reason, supervisor man. Mate, is this clown time? What? This is clown world. Yeah. You want to pass you the phone? You're gonna steal my phone. Who the fuck are you? You're gonna steal my phone. You're gonna steal my phone. You're gonna steal my phone. Don't spit on it. Don't spit on it. You're gonna steal my phone. Anyway, you guys don't need to act so hard. Are you you can, shut up, you dickhead! I'll fucking knock you out. Of course you will. Yeah, I fucking would. Of course you will. You. Oh my god. Of course you will. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna go report you yeah, to the yeah, policewoman. Oh, I am. I am. I'll see you. In a I just got spat in my face and the guys on video. I've shown the, the lady, the policewoman, the footage and uh, she's getting back up to arrest that little scumbag. If you're gonna get someone busted, it helps to have evidence and I do. Yeah, you guys big and brave now, eh? What? You come to beat me up, have you? You gonna come spit in my face again? Okay, 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 I'll calm down. What's going on? But, um, I won't go any closer than this. So just for the viewers of... The thing is, it'll just get, it'll just winding everybody up. If, if, if you're going to complain, then we need to make, take details. That's out. fine, yeah, sure. But what it is, whether winding people up or not, it's still perfectly legal. You can't spit in people's faces. There's an Asian guy there. He's not so hard now that he's surrounded by cops. And what's funny is the three of them came out here to confront me. That's too funny. But, um, let me just switch, switch off the filming. I want to have that log. I've, I've come to the I came to crew for the Heritage, Heritage Museum, and I and I ended up. It? The Heritage Museum is a 15-minute walk round the bloody site to the inside. Next to that, is it near? it's near the library, the church tower, and the. Like and it. Honestly, yeah, you're yeah, you're yeah I was there. No, I was there. It is a bit, isn't it? Of an American it's accent. It's it's Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. No. Go on. Hi, my name's Wayne, and you're watching the Charlie Beach Channel. Thanks, Wayne. The crew. Good man. And look behind us, the action, the action. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So, uh, yeah, I just gave a statement there and I, I chose not to press charges. So uh, the guy who spat in my face, the police made him come up to me sheepishly and apologize and apologize sincerely. I shook his hand, said apology accepted. He's been kicked out of the football match and he's going to be famous on YouTube. So moral of the story is, you can't breach the beach.